Hey, Richie, how you doing? What's up, man? <laughs> um, another big performance today. What What did you What did you guys see? You got uh, four turnovers today. What, what was it you guys saw from East Carolina? They took advantage of that. Uh, it, it wasn't so much particular things. I think it was just us playing hard, getting to the ball, and uh, just practicing our technique and fundamentals of what we've been we've been doing every week, getting the ball out and make sure we cover it up. Hey, Richie, so uh, last week you were kind of playing a fast and a, a kind of a scatty kind of quarterback who could move around, and this time you had kind of a big thumper of a quarterback who would still move uh, around himself. What kind uh, of uh, differences in the defense were you able to make uh, to still see success this week? Um, Like I said, it wasn't too much of us being uh, particular with any one thing. I think we just played hard today. Um, uh, obviously, it wasn't our best game. We still feel like we left a lot of players out there. But in terms of the, the turnovers and, and the new QB, we just played hard today and we got after him a little bit. Richie, what was Coach Shannon's message to you guys after the game? I know you just said you felt like you left some plays out there. I mean, I, obviously you're satisfied to get the win, but do you feel like – I'm sure you felt like you could have played a lot better. Most definitely, most definitely. Um, we know how we play. We know what kind of defense we are. Um, just speaking from the defense side, um, we know what kind of defense we are. and. We left too many players out there. We know that, you know, we'll see we'll see your group. Um, we celebrate it, but it's kind of hard when you know, like, we way better than this. We can play better than this. So we're going to get a lot of things correct this next week moving forward. Richie, I know it's uh, still a week away, but your home opener is next up. And I, I want to just get your thoughts on what it's going to be like to finally play in the bounce house for a game. Yeah, man, I'm so excited for that. I've never had uh, two back-to-back -back away games start my season. This is the first time ever. So um, I don't know if I told you guys, but I, like we've just been so focused this year. Sometimes we don't know who we're playing this week. So I just heard that we were playing at home this week. I was happy about it, excited to get back in front of our fans, stay at home, you know, right after the game. We can go back to our rooms and stuff like that. Uh, we ve we definitely excited to do that. Rich, you guys had a lot, a lot of penalties today. What, what, what is, in your mind, what are some of the things you can fix and, and maybe make it better when you guys play Tulsa next week? Just playing discipline football. Like I said, we know what kind of team we are. Uh, specifically, we know what kind of defense we are. Um, those, I mean, I think we had like almost 150 yards of penalties. Like that's, you can lose games like that. That's all I'm gonna say. You can lose games like that. We was fortunate to get out with the dub today. But like I said, we definitely got to get that fixed. Hey, Richie. So this game ended up being about four hours, which is a pretty long time for a game. So what was – so can you take us through with – what the, through the defense and just playing for a game that goes as long as this one? Well, obviously, we don't – we don't know if it's going to be a long or short game. Um, you kind of feel it out as it's going. But I think last week it was kind of the same thing. So we were kind of prepared. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a long haul. Make sure everybody locked in and just keep their focus throughout the whole 60 minutes. Richie, I know this is obviously going to be a strange season with COVID and limited fans or no fans. But as a senior, are you still taking time to kind of take a deep breath and enjoy every moment? Because this is your last year playing college football. Absolutely. You got to. Like you said, I'm a senior. A lot of us are seniors. Um, this is our last ride. So, you know, we know once it's over, it's over. Like, we're not young guys. We don't have that year to fall back on and, you know what I'm saying, develop more. So we're definitely trying to have fun and, and, and just be excited to be around each other because who knows where we'll end up after this season, you know. So we're taking it all in day by day.